In recent years, the diagnosis of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, in children has grown exponentially. Although doctors often prescribe medication to help reduce the symptoms, drugs are not a cure. In fact, some studies have shown that medicating children diagnosed as learning disabled and having ADHD is almost completely ineffectual. But one promising treatment called biofeedback training has been found to help some children diagnosed with ADHD focus better without medication. With this in mind, researchers at NASA spun off a technology that uses biofeedback training to help children train their brains to focus better. Originally developed to help pilots stay alert during long flights, this new technique uses off-the-shelf computer gaming systems like PlayStation or Xbox to help children train their brains. This new device is not only helping combat ADHD, but is making the process fun as well. Have you ever met someone with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD? Chances are that you have. It is estimated that as many as 6% of all Americans suffer from this problem. Common symptoms of ADHD can include poor attention span, impulsive behavior, and in some cases, hyperactivity. Currently, drug treatment is the most widely used approach to control the unwanted behavior associated with ADHD. But would you believe that playing video games might help ADHD control their behavior? Researchers at NASA Langley Research Center and Eastern Virginia Medical School have been conducting research which shows that the use of a specially adapted video game controller in conjunction with something called biofeedback may drastically change the way we treat ADHD. We came up with this idea for a way to treat ADHD in children with our work in flight simulators where we were interested in pilots' attentiveness and how to improve that. We connected their brain waves to the flight simulators so that it affected how much control they had over the flight simulator. We decided that this might have some usefulness in brainwave biofeedback training and we substituted video games for the flight simulator and that brought the element of motivation, the entertainment value, into biofeedback training. Biofeedback is a treatment technique that teaches patients to train and control normally involuntary body functions, like brain waves, by using displays of signals from their own bodies. With the aid of a biofeedback machine, patients with ADHD can learn to train the brain waves that are associated with focusing. Patients train these brain waves by increasing the strength of high frequency beta waves and decreasing the strength of low frequency theta waves. Practicing these brainwave changes has been shown to lead to an improved ability to pay attention. These brainwaves can be trained much like an athlete trains his muscles. For example, when a pitcher throws a ball towards home plate, if he is off the mark, then he must adjust his delivery the next time he throws the ball. Biofeedback training works similarly. If a patient's brainwaves are not on target, then the patient must adjust his brainwaves to meet the desired goal. So, just as the pitcher uses his muscles to adjust his delivery, the patient uses his mind to adjust his brain waves. Video games uh, offers the element of motivation. Uh, they make the training, the biofeedback training, entertaining for children. Biofeedback training typically is just showing children displays of their brain waves and asking them to control that. What we've done is embedded that in an entertaining, enjoyable activity. This technology works by connecting a child's brain waves to a video game controller. In the NASA EVMS study, several off-the-shelf video games were linked to the biofeedback signal from the patient's brain waves through the handheld controller that guides the game's action. When the game was activated, the patient's brain waves actually became a part of the game. It works like this. While a patient is playing a car racing game, for example, the sensors pick up high-frequency beta waves and low-frequency theta waves from the player's brain. If the biofeedback machine reads a higher percentage of theta waves, it sends a signal to the controller which lowers the top speed that the player's car can reach. To increase his top speed, the player must increase his percentage of beta waves. The player learns through trial and error to produce more beta waves and not limit his car's top speed. With enough training, changes in the patient's brain become automatic and can lead to improved attention and behavior all the time. I would like to see this available to people to be able to bring into their home and enjoy the benefits of biofeedback training through entertaining activities. Since this story first aired, 
This technology has been subjected to further validation and it's been shown to be effective in helping kids in a lot of areas of their lives. Uh, it helps them in focusing and concentrating, of course. It helps them in their relationships and their family, with their siblings and in school. And those kinds of things are the things that are most gratifying to me. This will, hopefully in the future, our idea is that this will become a very powerful complementary treatment to medication and other forms of treatment for attention deficit disorder. One of NASA's primary goals, in addition to exploration, is to improve life here on Earth. And we're privileged to be able to contribute in some small way to this goal. Clinicians around the country are now using these controllers to help some of the millions of children diagnosed with ADHD focus better. Hopefully, soon this biofeedback technology will be able to help many of them reduce their dependency on drugs and help them change their lives.